Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a wiki in Blackboard 9. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is decide where you want to keep your wiki. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a wiki um, content area. I'll go to the plus on the place I, in the um, content in the Blackboard site I'd like to create the wiki, and I will go to content area, and I'll say wiki. And I'll make that available to users by checking the box and click submit. So now I've got a wiki menu item here, and I can drag that up at the top if I'd like, because it's going to be important to me. And now I can select the wiki content area by clicking on the wiki menu item. And now you'll see I'm in the wiki area. And to create a wiki, I will go to um, Tools, and under the Tools area, at the top of the page here, you'll see wikis. So I'll click on wikis. Should take just a minute, and I can either link to the wikis page or I can create a new wiki. And I'll create a new wiki. And I'll call this sample wiki. I can give them some instructions if I like. I can set some date and time restrictions, which I won't. Um, I can decide what student access I would like. I want it open to editing in this case and open to commenting. I can make it a graded wiki if I like, and what that does is it creates a column in Grade Center um, with that wiki, and I'll say I want it graded, and it's 100 points possible. And it will as also ask you if you'd like to uh, show the participants in the needs grading status after a certain number of page saves. I'll just leave the default <coughs> as um, after every one page save. And that's basically it. I will click Submit. And I've created the wiki. Now all I need to do is associate the wiki with this um, content area. So create link to the wiki. I will choose that sample wiki that I just created, and I'll click Next. And now it's going to give me a whole other bunch of parameters that I can fill out if I like. Um, the text is taking the text that I originally had written. Um, the wiki is available by default. You could make it unavailable if you wanted to. And that's it. I'll click Submit. and that wiki is now ready for use. Now, if I'm a student in that class, let me refresh this page as a student in the class, and I'll see wiki here, and I can click on the wiki, and here I am as a student, I can click on sample wiki, and I can name a page, oops, name the page. I can write my wiki here. And I can click Submit. And that's it. I have that wiki page now that another student can come in and click Edit Wiki, wiki Content, or the faculty member can edit the wiki content, or you can comment on it, or you can create a new wiki page by clicking on the link up at the top here. And that is all there is to creating and maintaining your wiki.